Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Josh Healer here with Coach Katie and the rest of our coaching team, and we're going to go over this week's send-off workout. So for this workout, we're going to have six stations, one exercise per station. You're going to have uh, 40 seconds to complete the number of reps, and then once you're done with those reps, you're going to begin to rotate to the next station and get ready for the next set to start. So with each exercise, there's going to be a certain number of reps. For instance, for this first station, we're going to have uh, 10 total reps. If you get those done in 20 seconds, that's going to give you 20 seconds to recover and rotate. If it takes you 15 seconds, that's going to give you 25 seconds to recover and rotate. So the faster you get it done, the more time you're going to have to rotate and recover. There are no breaks between rounds here. It's 40 seconds before the next set starts, so you're going to be watching yourself. It's going to be a lot of fun. And remember, as you're doing this workout, you want to focus on doing every exercise well and really challenging yourself. And don't worry about feeling exhausted at first. This builds up because we're going to be doing six rounds of this workout. You ready to take it? Okay, so station number one on the rows, we're going to be doing our step up rope slam. So you can explode up and over off that box if you'd like, using that momentum to get the rope up and momentum coming down to slam that rope down. You can also just step side to side here. And of course, if you need to, you can stand next to the box and just do those traditional rope slams. But you're going to go five and five or ten rope slams here. From there, we're going to rotate over to our suspension, or over to our suspension trainer area, and we're going to be doing our wall ball slam. So make sure you get set up so those arms are fully extended from the wall. Notice how Katie's slightly leaning into it. She's going to squat down, and then she drives up. She's slamming that ball against the wall. She's coming up onto those toes, squeezing those glutes nice and tight at the top, trying to knock that wall over with every rep. You're going to do five hard reps here, so each one is about power, not speed. So don't try to go fast. Squat low and then drive up and try to knock that wall over. Great job. Thank you. From there, we're coming out to the blue floor. We have Coach Frank. He's going to show us our step out push up. So, as what we're going to do is we're starting that traditional push up position, and then you're going to move that leg and that arm out to the side, and then go into that push up. So, it's going to be a wider grip of those legs and feet. Pushing back up and over here. You're gonna do somewhere between three and five on each side. So six to ten reps if you're doing them well and you feel comfortable doing them, you can add those in. If you need to make a modification, you just go to our traditional push-ups from those toes. You can also go down from your toes, lower those knees and up from the knees, again, down from the toes, up from the knees, or just work from those knees and trying to get somewhere between five and ten reps. Depending on some people, you'll be able to get five good reps in. You might be strong enough to get 10 in. It's up to you. Just make sure you have enough time to recover and rotate after you're done at this station. Great job, Frank. From there, we're coming over to our skiers. So we're gonna have our skiers set up at this end of the floor for this workout. We have Coach Matt over here who's gonna show us how. Coming up to those toes, reaching high overhead, and then sitting that butt back, sitting on those heels, pushing that air out as you pull down. And remember, this is about power, not speed. So don't rush to get them done. Focus on quality reps here. You're doing 10 reps, and then you're rotating to the next station. Nice job, man. From there, we're coming over to our rowers. We have Coach Seth demonstrating here, getting your feet set up in those stirrups, and then driving back, deep breath in on the way out, or on the way in, excuse me, push that air out as you pull back, squeezing those shoulder blades. Again, focus on power, not speed here. So get powerful pulls in, deep breath, push that air out, squeeze, leaning back slightly here. Once you're done with those 10 reps, you're moving on to the last station of our send-off workout today. So we're moving over to our stability balls. No, I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong board. My bad, Seth. I thought I was right. So we're coming over to the dumbbells. Hey, we all make mistakes, folks. I forgive you, Seth. Okay, he should have said something. That's the point. Okay, we're gonna do our dumbbell alternating presses here. So, pumping those arms as one arm's reaching the other arm's point. I want you to try to go heavy with this, not fast. You're gonna do five on each arm or 10 total. Challenge yourself. As you're getting tired, those weights are heavy. You can start to use a little bit of a push press to throw that dumbbell up to get that weight up, five and five, and then you're moving back over to those step up row stands. Okay, and we're going around the room six times on this workout. That's our send off workout for this week. Great job, everybody.